Imagine you are standing in the middle of a busy street. Uh, you find yourself in the middle of a very crowded uh, Times Square on a beautiful day. And all of a sudden, somebody rushes up to you and rips off all your clothing and runs away. And worse than that, forces you to stand there paralyzed, unable to cover yourself, seek refuge, or pursue your assailant. Would you not see that as a crime? And that's exactly what happens when somebody breaks into one of your accounts, steals your images, your likeness, your photographs, your property, and publishes them online without your consent. In 2014, hundreds of personal, private, intimate photographs of mostly female celebrities were stolen and leaked online by hackers. I can tell you firsthand how humiliating and devastating this is, because I was one of them. Imagine with all of our privilege and resources, this sort of violation impacts our lives to this extent in this way. Imagine what it is like for those who have less. Non-consensual pornography is serious and needs to be dealt with that way. It is an assault on your privacy, your dignity as a human, and one of your most basic civil rights. Having scattered state laws does little to protect us in our digital world. Non-consensual pornography is truly a borderless crime and needs to be dealt with in that way, with federal regulation and international awareness. We expect our privacy rights to be to protect us in many other aspects of our lives, from our geolocation. banking and medical records, to our social security numbers. Why should our stolen private property in the form of our bodies be any different?